Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Gelato, and welcome back to some more Far Cry 4. Now, there's a couple things I want to say before we get started. One, if you're not subscribed to the channel, do that now because you're missing out on some great A content that's only going to get better with your guys' love and support. Second, now, I don't want to talk about it right now, and if you've been a uh, subscriber or a viewer for a while now, then you'll know there's some things that I just don't want to talk about at the moment. Now, someday I will tell you guys, and it will all make sense, but right now, again, I just don't really want to talk about it, but if you do notice a little change in me, things get uh, better, these videos get better, or these videos get worse, um, let me know. Uh, as soon as possible, just make a comment in the comment section down below, whatever that may be. Uh, just let me know, like, hey man, you seem to be doing the same. Hey dude, your videos are getting a lot better, you're uh, more happy, whatever, blah, 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 or your videos are getting worse. I would definitely like to know because uh, on my end, it's hard to tell whether I'm changing uh, or not. So, yeah, just let me know uh, any little details that you notice uh, change in my behavior and if I don't change at all that's all right if I do change in a positive way that's uh, good too if I change in a negative way though I need to change that ASAP because obviously I want to make videos that you guys enjoy watching and if I uh, become more negative that's not gonna be the case anyways so you know keep that in mind when you watch these videos and thank you so much for uh, you know monitoring that with me and without further ado let's jump right in AJ if any man has an ear let him hear revelation 13 9 I am preparing my sermons that's a lot of sermons all mankind will fear they will proclaim the works of God and wonder what he has done. As for you, there is another lost sheep to track down. Locate him, follow him, and bring back what you find. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Take my way to the drop-off point so I can drop off these drugs. Like I said in the last video, I have a story to tell you guys, and I will tell you guys during this mission. Ajay, I can't tell you what saving those fields means to the future of Kirat. Supplies. Weapons, ammunition, vehicles, everything the Golden Path needs to take the fight to pagan men. I wasn't sure about you. That first time in Banapur, all I saw was Sabal and his puppet, but you are not a puppet, are you? Now I can see what you're capable of. What a difference you've made! You didn't seek it out before the war. I was six years old when my parents told me that I had to marry. That's the world Sabal is pining for. He's trying to take us back to the Dark Ages. But you and I, we make a good team. Now I could use your help to protect the statues of Kira. Paul is trying to destroy them as part of his campaign to turn the people against the Golden Path. Ajay, it means a lot that you've supported me. Alright, so, to begin my story, I know I have not mentioned where I work uh, so far, but I work at Home Depot. Basically what I do is if you order something online, or you order something for a delivery, Blah, 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 blah. I take care of all that. Okay? So, yesterday, I was at work, and uh, it was just like a regular day, super fucking busy, overworked, underpaid, basically, blah, blah, blah. You get the, you get the deal. Anyways, um, so I was 
about to go on break because I was tired and my feet were hurting. And as I was walking by, the cashier was like, hey, can you cut some lumber? Well, my job isn't to cut lumber. Uh, and there was three lumber guys there that, you know, nobody thought to ask. Or they didn't answer their phones, whatever. So I was like, fuck it, I'll do it. So I was cutting lumber for this uh, lady. I would say, mm, I don't exactly know how old she was. I would say late uh, 50s or early 60s or something like that. And, you know, I kind of felt bad because when I was in the process of cutting the lumber, she was very grateful, you know, the whole time. And so I felt like a, a, a douchebag. Oh shit. Anyways, so yes, that's what happened, and I cut the lumber, and that was that. Uh, nothing more really. To that and then I took my break and as far as I knew she uh, left but about 30 minutes later I saw her sitting on a cart in front of the store and I was like okay this is kind of weird just figured that maybe her boyfriend dropped her off her husband whatever dropped her off while she uh, was shopping and that he'd come pick her up later yeah that was not the case, at least as far as I'm aware. So she was sitting outside for quite some time. But I didn't really see her because, you know, I was uh, working. So I run across the whole store very frequently. So, you know, some things just slip my mind. I don't really pay attention too much. All that good jazz. But after about 30 minutes, I saw her sitting in front of the store again. And I was like, uh... Hey, what the fuck is going on? Uh, whatever. Another hour goes by or so, and I see her once more. But now, this time, she's like super sweaty and uh, all that. And I was like, what the fuck? And I looked at the cart, and there was just the wood that I cut earlier, and that was it. Nothing else. No water, nothing. So right then and there, I got fucking pissed off. I was so mad because Home Depot should have offered her like uh, at least some water at the very fucking least. Because if you're slightly inconvenienced at Home Depot, like you have to wait because the lines at the cashier desk were like three minutes long or whatever, they'll give you a free drink and all that stuff. So I was super pissed that she, a customer, um, did not receive anything, no help whatsoever, once she left the store. Basically, they were like, oh, okay, you paid? Fuck off, we don't care about you anymore. And that was bullshit. It pissed me off so bad that I went into the break room and I grabbed some drinks out of the uh, refrigerator, ice cold drinks, and I gave her two. I went straight down and I gave them to her. She was very, very thankful. And I was like, well, do you need anything else? Do you need help with anything? Would you like me to do anything else for you? And she's like, no, no, no. I'm all right. Like, don't worry. And she offered to give me, like, some money for the water. And I'm like, hell no. Like, you shouldn't have to pay for water. Like, that's fucking ridiculous. It's a basic human uh, thing we need to survive. So, no, I was not going to take advantage of this woman in need of some help. And I gave her the water, and I said, look, uh, I don't know why you're sitting outside. If you want to come inside, you can. And she's like, oh, well, uh, they said I can't sit inside anymore. And I'm like, uh, no, fuck that. You come inside if you want to come inside, and if anybody has a problem, you tell them that Joey said it's fine and to take it up with me. And she's like, okay, thank you, thank you. And I was like, all right, so if you, if you need anything, just let me know. If not, you know, have a good one. So I left and, you know, maybe 
30 minutes later or so, I saw her still, and I was just about to go to the uh, front cashiers and be like, hey, can we not fucking get her like an Uber or something? Like, I don't really give a shit. Take it out of my paycheck. Take it out of whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. Just make sure that she gets home safe. Um, and to me, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. I would help both equally because we are humans and I think everybody uh, should help each other when we are in need um, because you know when I'm in need I would hope that uh, somebody does that for me as well just like I said in the other video uh, <clears throat> you know this week was really hard for me because I had no money in my bank account I lost my glasses like I told you guys and so I had to replace them and uh, cost everything that I had. I had nothing left. Uh, my car was on E. I was basically struggling. Didn't really, I only had maybe 30 cents so I couldn't fucking do anything uh, at all. And so I just waited. And uh, you know, I probably couldn't have made it any longer and that day, the day before uh, this thing with the woman happened, somebody gave me a $5 tip. And I was just like, wow, that's uh, the greatest gift you could have given me because I absolutely needed it. Like without this, I don't know how I would get to work. I don't know how I would get home. I you know, don't know any of these things. Uh, so it really saved me and that's not why I helped this woman out. I didn't even think about it uh, until I told that story to you guys. But I helped this woman out because, you know, I'm an asshole most of the time. Fuck it. It doesn't matter to me. But uh, I think that I'm a decent human being when I need to be. I believe that I will help out somebody in need anytime they need it. Sometimes, you know, it is what it is, but one time, you know, I used to go to the clubs. I still do go to the clubs quite frequently, but uh, there was this homeless guy that sits outside of the clubs every day, and he doesn't ask for anything. Not once. At least he's never asked me. Every time I walk by, he's just like, hey man, hope you're having a great day, whatever. Maybe he's trying to uh, make me feel bad, whatever. I don't really care. Okay? But it was getting to the winter time and I noticed that he didn't have any shoes on him. So I offered him a pair of my shoes. Uh, you know, I took my shoes off and gave it to him because that's what I felt was the right thing to do. And that's that. I mean, there's nothing more to it, guys. I just want to be able to help people. That's it. That's all I want. compound. He's vulnerable there. He likes to ship in his meat from a nearby village. That is your way in. Once you're inside, sneak into the interrogation room. His guard will be down.
All right, we're on the truck. Amita, I'm going after Paul. That's really dangerous, Sajay. We want him alive to pay for what he's done, but be careful. Uh, and Ajay, if you can, take pictures of his interrogation chambers. It'll go a long way in convincing people that he's a monster. Just keep your head down. We're in. Now it's in this fuck shit. <laughs> no, I understand. I understand. So I, I, I can't. I am literally walking into a meeting right now. All right. No, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just put her on really quick. No, no, no. It's okay. Put her on. Yeah. I will be right with you. Hi, Ashley. You did. That is amazing. <laughs> Good girl. Are you getting ready for bed? Did you brush your teeth? For at least 10 seconds? That's my girl. You gonna give your mom a big kiss for me? Well, you know, she gets lonely when I'm not there. You are the lady of the house. Of course. Now, you know daddy has to work, so... A gift? Sure, sweetheart. What did you want? A ring. No, I, I don't think I've seen anything like that for you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. What else would you like? A necklace. Oh, a gold necklace. Well, actually, I think I see that exact thing. Yes, of course, it is shiny. Now, listen, Daddy has to work, all right? So I have to go. I, I love you, too. Yes. Kisses, kisses. I apologize for that, my daughter. You were here on time, and I was not ready. No disrespect intended. You? He's alive. If you'd killed him, I wouldn't have blamed you. Yeah, I'm alive. Taxi driver. Show him to his new home. Who threw that? Fucking savages! Let go! Wait, wait, that's my cell phone. Ajay, that's my cell phone. It's in my back pocket. I, I need my cell phone, man! Ajay, please! Please, I need my cell phone! Get off me, you monkey fuckers! Ashley! Ashley, baby, daddy's here! Thank you, Ajay. This is a good thing you've done here. We'll take care of Paul. We've got the perfect spot for him. All right, well, that seems like a decent little spot to end this video here. Now that Paul's out of the way, his fortress, Varshakot, is vulnerable. Now is a good time to mount an attack on it. Okay, so if you did like this video, please let me know all your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. I really do enjoy reading all of the comments that you guys give me. Uh, they've been good comments uh, recently, so I really do appreciate that, guys. Um, and I do appreciate the fact that you guys understand my hard work, uh, everything that I go through. I know my videos aren't absolutely perfect, but I do try my best. I looked up Bishwali, but I couldn't.
bring myself to see her. Not after all these years. You always regret those decisions when they die, don't you? Anyway, I was there with Deplore, or rather, Paul Harmon. He invited me to his home to meet his family, to see the other side of him. It was incredible to see the man behind the man. Paul, the loving father and husband. I was as jealous as I was happy for him. We went to his daughter's school to see a recital. There was his darling Ashley, the light of his life. I could see the tears welling up in his eyes. So proud, so much love. It really made me think, what if I had followed Ishwari? What if that were you, clumsily stumbling through a piano recital as I looked on teary eye through a viewfinder, capturing every precious moment? It always hits you when it's too late, RJ. Always when they've gone. Alright, so, if you did like this video, please, uh, smash that like button. I mean, that's pretty easy. It's not that difficult, but, hey, if you don't want to hit that like button, how about you show your love and support for the channel by subscribing? I would definitely appreciate that. It only takes a couple seconds, and it really does help me out quite a bit. Uh, together, we will make this channel into something perfect and amazing. So, Anyways, guys, thank you so much for everything that y'all do for me. Thank you for the support. Thank you for uh, the suggestions. Just thank you for everything. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad to have you on my team. Because you guys are the best subscribers on YouTube there is. Now, as always, just know that I love y'all one more time. Thank you so much for watching this video. And, as always, I can't wait to see you in the next video. So, until next time, whenever that next time may be, have a good day, have a good week, have a good month, whatever it may be, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace out.